As a geriatric physical therapist, there are four different avenues of physical therapy that I need to be aware of when I treat somebody who is 65 and older. Okay, the four branches include orthopedic, neurological, oncology, and cardiopulmonary. And I'm going to show you how these four categories intersect when working with an individual 65 and up. Okay, so I included examples of common conditions under each avenue of physical therapy with geriatrics, okay? Now, keeping track that this is usually somebody who is 65 plus, but somebody can be younger if they have some of these conditions. Now, when I see somebody for, let's say, uh, loss of balance, okay, when I start asking them part of their history, this is where I need to be aware of if they have arthritis or a history of a joint replacement, okay, in which that would be orthopedic, okay, finding out whether or not they had a stroke, MS, or Parkinson's can greatly impact their treatment. Having heart failure, high blood pressure, uh, COPD, asthma, emphysema, things like that, okay, and whether or not they have a history of cancer. Now, Cancer can be whether it's current or in the past. So if they had cancer as a child, that still impacts their treatment as an older individual, okay? So when somebody comes in and they have a fall, okay, I have to check these different avenues when I'm coming up with their game plan, Okay, because, you know, something with heart failure, okay, may limit how hard or how long I can exercise them or test them before they get tired. Okay, if somebody has Parkinson's, there's things that I need to be aware of, patterns from that condition that, of course, would lead to falls. Okay, and then um, if their joint is worn down from arthritis, okay, that's going to also change the type of treatment that I provide, okay? But when somebody who is older comes to physical therapy, it is essential that your therapist take into account all th these different aspects of your care when they're coming up with your treatment plan. All right. So sometimes it may seem like we're putting the pieces together right in front of you. Um, and that really is true. Okay. Because we're having to take into account all of these things when we're coming up with an activity or an exercise for you. If you really like this video, go ahead and press like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors. Janet D. the PT.